here's Sheila. Welcome to my channel, Inside Beauty with the Old Girl. Thank you so much for tuning in today. This is a very special video that I'm doing, and I feel so honored to do it. It is called the Up Close and Personal Tag by Susan Little Poet. I am just so grateful that she encouraged me to do this tag. I've never done a tag before, so I am I'm really thrilled about it, and I thank you, Susan, so very much for encouraging me. If you've never been to Susan's channel, Little Poet, you really need to check her out. She is just a phenomenal woman. She can sing. She writes music. She's written songs all her life. Uh, she has sung in bands. She is a fantastic photographer. Her videos are so creative and just beautiful. You're just mesmerized by them. So I, I suggest you go and check out Little Poet. You will not be sorry. And thank you again, Susan, very much. So this is a list of 12 questions in her tag. And now mind you, this is the first tag I've ever done, so I'm going to do my best. Uh, rather than read all 12 questions, because I'd be putting my glasses on and off, on and off, because I can't see, I'm going to have my husband, Dave, read the questions, and then I'll just give my answers. So I guess I'm ready for question number one, Dave. Okay, question number one. What are your stats? Well, I guess that means, I don't know, what, what there is about me. So my stats would be, I am married to Dave for 37 years. We only knew each other two and a half months when we got married. That'll be another story. I have three children and I have five grandchildren. One girl, four boys. They range in ages from 21 to 12. They are my life, my joy, my heart. And I'm five foot six, and I weigh 107, sometimes 105. It, it floats back and forth. Just depends on my nerves and what's going on in my life. All right, I'm ready for question two. Question number two. Do you have a busy, active life? Oh, do I have a busy active life. Uh, I don't sleep a lot, and I wake up very early, usually by 2. I go outside. I'm on the trail by 4.30 in the morning. We are fortunate enough to live in a, just a beautiful community that's full of activity. I feel like I live in Disneyland, and there's walking trails, biking trails, everything. Very safe. So I walk every morning at 4.30 in the morning. I speed walk and I walk for five miles. I then go to my mother's, who's just two blocks away, as we are her caregiver, and get her breakfast, do her nails, do her hair, beauty treatments here and there, just different things. I still work from home and I love to clean. So I'm very busy. I cannot sit still. Very active, and I love it. It just suits me. All right, next question. Question number three, and I hope you only have one answer for this. Oh. Do you have a boyfriend or a husband? Well, actually, I have both. I have a boyfriend and a husband, and they both happen to be Dave. He is my husband, but he is also my boyfriend. You know how your boyfriend treats you so special when they're courting you. They take good care of you. They, they do special little things and have your best interest at heart. He's all those things every day to me. So I am very blessed to have a boyfriend and a husband. Question number four. As you have gotten older, are you satisfied with your life? Yes, I am completely satisfied with my life. You know, why wouldn't I be? I, I've gone through everything like 
like we all have throughout the years, ups and downs, problems, situations, everything. You deal with all of them. And now I'm at a place where I, don't, I just don't care. I don't mean that in a negative way, but, you know, those kind of things, they're not in my life anymore. And so I just look forward to each day, each day. I just take it one day at a time, and uh, I, I couldn't be any happier than I am today. Question number five. Are you more of a sexy woman or more of a spiritual soul? Oh, there is no question about that. I am definitely a spiritual soul, and I am definitely not a sexy woman. I don't even know if I would know how to do sexy. <laughs> it just wasn't for me. Uh, as I said in my first video, I'm a very late bloomer, and I, I just don't consider myself sexy, never did consider myself sexy. And so it's just a term that, I don't know, just doesn't fit me or something. So that's my answer to that one. Question number six. Do you want to retire or keep working? I do not want to retire until I expire. Uh, I, I love to be on the move. It doesn't mean that I have to keep working at, at a physical job. But I want to work the rest of my life. And when I say work, I'll call it service work. I, I like to help people. I like to do things. I like to volunteer and do whatever somebody needs done. I like to be on the move. Uh, I like to learn new things. I like to do things with my grandchildren and be active and I'm just never going to retire from life until my life is over. And that's my answer. Question number seven. Are you more skilled in building yourself up or tearing yourself down? Oh boy. That is a 50-50. I think I'm equally skilled at both. Now, when I was younger, I would say I was more skilled at tearing myself down because I did that for many, many, many years. And again, until I became an old girl, now I can build myself up because I know who I am. I know what I have to offer. I know what my gifts are. So I, I, I relish in those and I know those for sure. But I also know that I still tear myself down in many ways. Well, mainly in the caregiving of my mother. Because I feel like I, I'm not doing enough. I mean, I'm there six hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. But I, I want to help her. I want to fix her problems. I feel bad that she can't see or that she can't that she's confused and then I come home and question myself could I have done something better today I know that I can't but I still feel it so it's a 50 50 thing question number eight when you walk into a room full of strangers how do you feel I feel great now again I didn't used to long time ago but I do now because I know who I am, where I'm at, and I definitely know where I'm going. Question number nine. Is there a key to being happy as an older woman? Oh, yes. I, I know that key. And that's gratitude. And it's not just as an older woman or old girl, as I call myself. That's at any age to me. If you are grateful, and feel that gratitude, look around every day at, at everything, your home, what you have on, your clothes, whether it be your belongings, your friendships, your children, grandchildren, no matter what, there is so much to be grateful for. And I wake up grateful. When I wake up, I thank God that I woke up because I'm still breathing. 
how when my feet hit the floor, they move. And I get to get out there at 4.30 and take that five-mile power walk. So I am grateful every day. Question number 10. Do you ever get jealous of other women or youth in general? No, I do not. When I look at other women, everybody has beauty to offer. And I see it, no matter what it is or where it is. If they're not wearing it on their physical self, on their face, on their clothing, it comes out in their smile, their attitude, or something they say. And the youth, oh my gosh, they're fun. There is so much to learn from them. They teach me. I mean, my grandchildren have taught me so much. I love being around them. I feel like a kid again. And, and doing things that they do, and they, they teach me so much. So no, there's no jealousy there, just a lot of love. Question number 11. What is the one quality of all your friends have in common? Hmm. Well, I would have to say that that one quality is that they're all different, and they really are. They all have something to offer, something to bring to the table. I learn from all of them. They all have their own gifts. So that's their quality. They're all different. And that's a, that's a bonus for me because I get to learn a lot from them. Last but not least, question number 12. Okay. Tell us your favorite quote and why. I'm going to read this one, so I have to put my glasses on. All right, this one says, I believe in the sun even when it is not shining. I believe in love even when I cannot feel it. I believe in God even when he is silent. This quote was written on a cellar wall during the Holocaust, so it's unknown author. I love that quote, and it hangs over my bed. And I guess that's the end of the 12 questions, and I really enjoyed doing it. I hope I did okay. Thank you. Thank you again, Susan Little Cohen. This was really fun. And now I'm going to leave you with a beauty tip, and I'm kind of cheating because it's another saying, not a quote, but a saying. And it is this little sign right here, if you can see that. It hangs in my house in the hallway. It says, it's not having what you want, it's wanting what you have. Now that means a lot to me. Because, you know, when we, when we accumulate things, and we love the things that we get. Let's just use makeup, for example, since we're talking about beauty and everything. You know, we, we see something and we want it, or we hear about a new blush or lipstick or something, and, and we want to try it. We get all excited. I think we all do that, and that's wonderful. But the inside beauty part of that is wanting what you have what you already have. And we have a plenty of everything. I'm not talking just makeup or beauty things. I'm talking of love, family, friendships, children, whatever it may be. You know, to, to really embrace the things that we already have is very special. And it's a wonderful feeling. So it's nice to see this plaque as I walk down the hall every morning and just keep that in mind for the day. I thank you so much for coming and, and listening to this video. And I invite you to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell for any future videos. Again, I thank Susan from the bottom of my heart. Until we meet again, this is the old girl. See ya.